Welcome back everyone, Angie here with Adore Perfect Pups. And today we're going to be talking about what makes a Cavapoo a great family pet. Today I'm here with Monica's puppies. They are seven weeks old. These are F1B Cavapoos. That means that they are three quarters poodle and uh, quarter cavalier. Uh, what makes it kind of interesting in this breed is that you can see the beautiful curl coat that comes out of them. So naturally a cavalier does not have this much curl to them. They have a straighter coat. That means that these curls and their hair coat is going to be less shedding. So it's great for families that want a less um, hair around their home. It also means on the grooming side that it will require a little bit more grooming, which uh, can be done at home. So just regular brushing is great. I would say daily brushing, um, bathing every once to two weeks, depending on your needs in your home, and trimming nails uh, about every, when they're puppies, we like to trim them every 10 to 14 days. And then as adults, uh, usually about every four weeks. So if you're on a regular grooming schedule, that's usually six to eight weeks, depending on your groomer. Uh, you may want to trim your nails in between there. Let's talk a little bit about the temperament of Cavapoos. So we get a the Cavalier portion of them loves to be cuddly and snuggly. They're great for emotional support. They're good in all realms. So they're great for families. They're good for apartments. They're good for my retirees. Talking about size of Cavapoos in comparison to Cavaliers, uh, because we use a miniature poodle when we breed them down, they will be on the smaller side. So we'll be 10 to 15 pounds on these puppies, where a Cavalier can get anywhere from 20 to 25 pounds. So nice size, they're easy to take in cars. Uh, for my people that like to fly, they often stay under the 20 pound limit, and you can take them on vacations with you. Just tuck them under your seat. Just make sure you check with your airline regulations. So let's talk a little bit about uh, upcoming costs with, with the breed. Uh, generally, grooming is your primary breed. This is a hybrid breed, so it's a mix of poodle, uh, purebred poodle and purebred cavalier. What that means is that genetically, a lot of those concerns are kind of washed away. So it's a beautiful combination to do a hybrid breed. Uh, as far as health concerns, uh, generally in this breed, most concerns would be a heart murmur or like a luxating patella, but we screen all of those with our vet checks and if any of those were ever presented at six to eight weeks, we would obviously let you know prior to your purchase. As far as the heart murmur and the luxating patella, those can be scary words to many new pet families and actually in my world, they're relatively common and a luxating patella of grade one is usually never presents itself to be anything in life, as well as a heart murmur. If they're grade one heart murmurs, these puppies will live full lifespans of 10 to 14 years, sometimes longer, and be completely healthy. Anything above a grade one, so in a heart murmur or a luxating patella, it is always best, and we consult our uh, veterinary professionals as well as many of our customers also inquire with their vets as well um, just on how to care for them properly. Those uh, health concerns that we just spoke about are very, relatively uncommon. So in a litter, uh, I generally don't have very many of them. Let's talk a little bit about the colorations that I can get out of Cavapoos. So I have uh, a couple mothers that are red, high pumpkin that are red and depending on the meal I use with them, we can get a variety of colorations. So we love to have a little bit of white in here just for interest. This uh, little Misty here, she's got a little white spot on her chest. And uh, we also raise, we get some chocolate merles, we get some blue merles. Uh, we just get a nice variety of cavapoos. So depends a lot on our pairings, depends on the heat cycles of our mothers. So. It's always fun just to stay tuned and see what, what we get to have born here. Let's talk a little bit about pricing and why there's such a variant uh, large scale and price differences uh, out there. Uh, our difference is very clear. We do things very differently here. And First of all, we start with the foundations in our females and our males, uh, making sure that everything is sound there with the OFA uh, certifications, uh, making sure that they're genetically paired. Properly. I'm a little bit behind my leg here. Uh, and then it goes into our training program and we start at day three of life and we train all the way through eight weeks. So 
Through that course of training while they're here with us, they are, first of all, um, we work with the neurological system from week three to week 16. We work with their sense, so we wake up their noses before eyes and ears are open. Week three, we start with sound uh, conditioning, habitation sounds and sweepers and all those good things that they'll have in their life. And then at week four, we start with some mobility work, some socialization work, um, just making sure we have highly competent puppies, new exposures with high tails. And seven weeks, we do a, a evaluation here, so it helps score them for placement. Um, things are just different here. We, our attention to detail is very clear, and it shows in our puppies. The passion for what we do, our love, um, is very clear in our dogs. We do all the hard work here from zero to eight weeks, and it is set for the life of your dog, which is the next 12 to 14 years. So our price is an investment in a family member that will be with you for a very long time. Thank you so much for watching. You can like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can follow along on our Instagram profiles um, and watch for more content from us on a weekly basis.